It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, January 3rd. Coldest air we've seen in at least a decade next week. A chance of snow Sunday night. A lot of things on the plate to talk about. We'll go in there and do it. So let's begin with some of the Skycam shots. Uh, nice to see the sun back today, but as expected, it's cold. Uh, barely above freezing. That's our Skycam at Jasper. They're sitting at 34 at mid-afternoon. Uh, down to the south, that's a sky cam at Demopolis in Marengo County. They're in the upper 30s down there. And that is an icy Tennessee River, as seen from our sky cam at Decatur. Well, the big snowstorm in the northeast is over. That trough is moving off the Atlantic coast. You can see the new trough moving into the northern plain states, where a big snow event is unfolding there. And uh, that will be pulling down the brutally cold air for much of the eastern United States early next week. Uh, temperatures around the nation very cold over the east, as you might expect. <laughs> uh, uh, what you see there is what you get. We're in the 30s here. Now, we're going to see a brief weekend warm-up. Sunday, we're going to be in the middle 50s. That'll feel like a heat wave, but uh, don't get used to it. thought this was a neat shot. That's a, a visible satellite view of the snow cover from Virginia north after the big storm over the past 26 hours there. Uh, but there's the uh, current watch warning map. We've got a blizzard warning for all of North Dakota and some of the adjacent states. Winter storm warnings in effect now from uh, northern Arkansas near Harrison up to St. Louis and Indianapolis and Detroit. And uh, we're going to see some uh, snow here Sunday night, no doubt about that. Probably not a lot, but it might warrant a winter weather advisory at some point for the northern uh, third or maybe the northern half of Alabama. Now, this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Wednesday evening of next week, and this is the rain we see during the day Sunday. Not that much. Rain amounts of about a quarter inch. And, of course, this is the map that gets everybody's interest. This is the chance of accumulating snow greater than one inch from 6 a.m. Sunday until 6 a.m. Monday, Central Time. And you can see the snow probabilities do extend down into north Alabama. And it's not going to be a big snow for us, but it could be enough to get the ground white in some places, as you'll, as you'll see. So let's go in there and take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And this is the flow at 500 millibars. And uh, you can see we've got a uh, disturbance uh, across the northern plains. Uh, this is going to help to pull down the very cold air. Down below that, the day will be sunny. We start the day in the low 20s. The high should be in the upper 40s. It'll be like a heat wave. Now, Sunday, hey, we're going to get up in the middle 50s. And people are going to say, hey, what's the deal with the cold air? I thought you said it was going to turn cold. Well, it is, but it's not going to get here until Sunday night. And this run a little slower with the cold air. The uh, surface boundary is near the Mississippi River at midday Sunday. And then this is Sunday night at midnight. Woo boy, look at the pressure gradient. Howling north winds, snow coming down uh, midnight Sunday night. Uh, and again, this is the window where we're going to see some snow here. Uh, I'd say now, based on the slower GFS, the main window is going to be maybe from 6 p.m. Sunday until 3 a.m. Monday. And then on uh, Monday during the day, the snow is gone, and we are just very, very cold. Uh, the latest Moss product off the GFS showing a high of 20 for Birmingham with uh, upper teens just to the north. We might stay in the teens all day Monday. You factor in that wind, the wind chill index will be below zero most all day long. It's going to be brutal. Now, let's look at the snow possibilities. First off, this is coming off the uh, NAM, the North American Mesoscale, and it's got a light dusting of snow basically north of a line from Hamilton to Birmingham to Ashland and Lineville. Uh, not very much. The European is a little farther south with the dusting. Uh, the European suggesting there could be a dusting of snow down to uh, Demopolis and Clanton. Uh, then up to Ashland, Lineville, and uh, near Wadawi. Uh, it's got amounts of about one-half inch over the northern counties north of Interstate 20. And this is the model that's the most aggressive now, the GFS. It's got a dusting of snow all the way down to South Alabama near Andalusia and Grove Hill. Uh, and up in the Tennessee Valley, this is suggesting maybe some two-inch snow amounts near the Tennessee border. So I think we'll go with a blend of all of this and forecast about one-half inch for Alabama north of Interstate 20 uh, Sunday night. We'll fine-tune these numbers as the weekend gets here. And clearly the big deal is going to be the cold air. This is going to be kind of a distraction. But it might be enough snow to create some driving problems late Sunday night and Monday morning. So be aware of that. This will not be a, what I'd call a major snowstorm. In fact, for most places up north, they wouldn't even pay halfway attention to this. But for us, it snows a big deal. So maybe a half inch 
Sunday night. All right, this is Tuesday. Tuesday morning, the bottom drops out. Uh, in fact, let me just show you the mediagram. That's a, that's a busy graphic, but it kind of explains the whole situation. First off, we think we'll be below freezing for about 62 to 65 consecutive hours from uh, Sunday evening until midday Wednesday. And that's a long time for Alabama. Uh, you can see the uh, minimum temperature for Birmingham is 5.1 degrees. That would be uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, not so sure it can get that cold. It might, especially north of Birmingham. Uh, we're going to say 5 to 10 now in our forecast low for Tuesday morning. And uh, we finally go above freezing Wednesday afternoon. And understand now, it's going to be very cold on Monday and Wednesday morning. Monday morning will be down around 10. Wednesday morning, I think, 10 to 15. Uh, that is just very harshly, harshly cold for this part of the world. All right, uh, let's go on to uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. And we start to warm up Wednesday afternoon. We'll wind up in the 40s, I think. That'll be good. And then Thursday, model madness here with this next impulse. There's the impulse, and down below that, this run does not have the freezing rain like it portrayed this morning. If you saw the morning uh, maps we showed you from the OZ run, had freezing rain down into Atlanta and northeast Alabama. Well, it's gone on this run, but just a batch of showers coming in here. And then Friday, it stays kind of cloudy with a chance of showers, but clearly warmer toward the end of next week. So this deal Thursday and Friday, model madness, low confidence. We'll deal with that early next week. We'll check quickly the end of the forecast, January 19th, just for the fun of it. Uh, people have been mentioning to me, you haven't checked the end of the forecast the last couple of videos here. Well, okay, here you go. Uh, upper load that's over uh, Baja, California, southwest flow aloft. That would be uh, uh, not cold, uh, maybe above average for this time of the year with some risk of showers if that's right out there at mid-month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be here Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. And, of course, com <laughs> complete notes over on the blog. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.